Okay, right after I uploaded my last Node-RED video, I had an idea. I wonder if you could actually install Node-RED on an Android phone. And I thought you might get some kind of weird, you know, they might have some kind of dashboard or something for it. But I did not expect to find what I found. I was in the airport in Gatwick in London, and the idea crossed my mind, and I wound up, like, seeing this app and buying it. It was $4.49, and... I didn't really have much of a chance to play with it until I got home, but oh my goodness, it is so cool. So if you scroll down here, you can see that um, it has about 100 plus installs. So probably less than 500 people have installed this app. And I installed it and played with it. And, you know, it's cool. You could use it on your phone and we could, you know, we could mess around with it and, and play with it on the phone. But I think the cooler thing is to access it from a PC. Now check this out. I'm just going to my browser just like I would any other instance of Node-RED. The only difference is after the colon 1880, I'm putting a, uh, a forward slash red. And so I've got this kind of blown up so you can see it, but you have the typical nodes over here that you normally have. There's this extra Moscow one, which is an MQTT broker. And you know, all these pretty much look the same as what you would normally see. But as you scroll down, it gets more interesting. All of a sudden you can, cast from node red just built into this thing and you can come down here and this is what blew my mind see there are all of these ways that you can interact with the sensors on your phone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this in and then i'm going to drag an inject node in and then um i've got it blown up so you guys can see what i'm doing a little bit easier and i'm going to do a debugging node right here so i'm going to connect these together and what's going to happen is when I inject this timestamp, let me deploy and go to the debug node. When I inject this timestamp, it is giving me the amount of light that the phone sees, like the amount of light that the phone sensor sees. So if I take the phone and turn it upside down and inject it again, it's zero. Or, you know, I don't have a flashlight with me. I probably should have. But if I were to, you know, flip it back over, all of a sudden now it's 35 as it's in the shade. Like, very cool. All of a sudden your phone becomes this IoT sensor cluster. So I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of that one and I'll come back over here. And, you know, I right, will do the gyroscope. So when you look at this one, let's see, I'm kind of uh, make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So description gyroscope so <clears throat> what it does it talks about the rate of rotation which is kind of interesting so if I deploy this thing and debug it let me clear out these old messages and put a new one in there then basically you know it's detecting the vibration of my voice uh, my deep baritone from being sick from Africa uh, but anyway that it just detects mild vibration but it, now I'm gonna shake the phone which actually I think turned on the flashlight and all of a sudden my x y and z is showing a lot more force and so you could do the same thing i've never used the compass but let's take a look at the compass so we drag this in here and i wouldn't be surprised if not all phones have all sensors you know at least in a way that are accessible to node red but let's clear this out and let's look at the compass node here so uh okay so just wants to know yeah the degrees the heading and degrees so if I were to inject the timestamp, all of a sudden we are heading, yeah, I see zero. So I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's see. Oh, it actually asked for permission to access the compass. So let's, uh, all right, let's try that. So give me a second to get back to Node Red. All right, and we're going to try it again. So, yep, heading at 249. I'll turn the phone roughly 180 degrees the other direction, and we're at 61. And so, you know, all of a sudden you have a compass that you can hook up to stuff. So we'll do a couple more. You can, uh, this looks like it measures decibels. This measures uh, magnet. So, I mean, you can come in here and we'll see. This is my old Moto X. So we'll see how much battery life is left in it. Inject it and 72% battery life. And this is the time sample when it did the, the reading and it's not plugged in. In fact, let me go and plug it in. Let's see what happens. See if it knows. Plug it in, screen lights up, clear this out here. I'm getting a little jumpy here. There we go. And inject and plugged in true. I mean, how cool is that? Like, that is so cool. 
And so, all right, let's go in here. We're going to do a couple more. We're going to have some fun here. So we're going to get a little bit more advanced. If you come in and look at, let's do text-to-speech first of all. If I were to come in here and drag this, now this is going to want something a little different. So if I click on this eye up here and click on text-to-speech, it's going to tell me what it wants. And so um, <clears throat> it's basically a JSON string. So we're going to grab this. And instead of doing a timestamp, which is just kind of a generic thing, we're going to tell it to do JSON. And so, let's see here. Can I make that? Oh, nice. I can make that bigger. I didn't realize that. So, let's say uh, subscribe to another maker. Okay. And then we're going to hit done and deploy or done and deploy. Clear this message out here. Clear this message out. Subscribe to another maker. Yes! The phone did the text-to-speech for me, even though they're not connected in any way. So awesome. Um, let's try, I'll tell you what, let's try this. Uh, let's do, looking at this here, let's do, uh, let's do, que paso mis amigos. And then let's change it to uh, es... Yes. Okay, and let's see what happens. Done. This is live demoing for you here. All right. ¿Qué pasó, mis amigos? Ha! <laughs> you even get the accent. You even get the Spanish accent. Let. ¿Qué pasó, mis amigos? How awesome is that? Um, <laughs> actually, I got an idea. Let's uh, let's try this. Um, let's try one more. Let's try um. Uh. Subscribing to another maker would be smashing. And then let's change this to EN UK. Let's just see what happens. We're going to just go for it. Done. Deploy. Subscribing to another maker would be smashing. Boo! Boo! Okay. Anyway, we tried. Um, so we're gonna do we're gonna do one more here, and let's go to speech to text. So I'm gonna drag this in here, and I'm going to not deploy yet because I want to see how this one works. So I come here and I hit the input or the info thing, and basically what it wants to know is okay. So it wants to know what language you're looking for how many matches and what you want it to say on the screen. So we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to do I want to I'm just going to take exactly what they have and we're going to do this. Let's say let's just do one match. And so I'm going to hit this done uh oh, hold on what I mess up there. Something doesn't look right. My oh my json's off. So I want to get rid of this. Okay, so now my json looks right. So I'm going to hit done deploy and then now what's going to happen, let's clear out our debugging, and I click this. Oop, hold on, my phone's off. Demo fail. Okay, let's try it again. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, so you can see it prompted the screen, and then all of a sudden, you know, gave me the, the testing, one, two, three. Now, if I were to come in here and change this to matches three and hit done and deploy, let's see what happens. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay, so what it did there, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, what it, This explains why your keyboard is jacked up all the time. It, uh, it did testing one, two, three, F-O-R. One, two, three, four, all spelled out. One, two, three, four as numerals. Like, how cool is that? Like, I, you know, and I'm obviously just scratching the surface. You can make custom vibration patterns should you find a need to do that. You can do prompts. And I, I mean, just, I, I'm, my mind is blown that all of this stuff has been available and only a hundred plus people have installed this. You have to check this out. We have to like spend the 449 or if you use that Google opinion and rewards where you get free survey money, like this is something worth spending 449 on. It is so cool.